Today I'm making this video to uh, uh, illustrate how I uh, dual boot with Windows and uh, Puppy Linux. Uh, particularly in my case, uh, I don't usually uh, use uh, Windows, but I plan to sell this uh, uh, mini PC, which is a Lenovo Tiny PC, which works very well with the i5 CPU and 8 gigs of RAM and uh, so I have successfully installed the uh, Windows uh, 10 already but and also because of uh, I need to access the uh, my old original save folder from Fossa Pub CE4 I've connected to uh, my external hard drive and then uh, and then subsequently I'll have to reboot using a Ventoy a USB stick here. And also I'm going to be using this USB a stick which is rather old but slow. I'll be installing Puppy Linux uh, uh, CE4. Um, although the, this USB is very slow, when I uh, eventually later on when I boot into it, it's gonna the initial uh, uh, Linux kernel and the drivers will be loaded into RAM, so it remains very quick, very fast. The key, however, is to make sure the save folder gets installed into an internal hard drive because you don't want the save folder to be in uh, USB, which is very very slow. So uh, with that. Uh, background we'll go ahead and take a look at the how the bios uh, uh, should be uh, subsequently set to enable all these features now i will be uh, uh, starting the uh, computer and then uh, what i have to do is to uh, on this particular machine to get into bios i have to keep pushing f1 so i'm doing that now and uh, hopefully i'll be put in focus so now I'm into uh, BIOS the uh, after you install the uh, Windows what you really have to do is just make sure a couple of uh, settings are correct so you under uh, security you want to go to secure boot and then make sure the secure boot is disabled so it is uh, disabled uh, now so and then get out of that and then next is to go into a, a startup and uh, and uh, I have it uh, CM, CSM should be disabled and then I prefer just to have a UEFI only so if, if this is enabled then you get all these choices so but I think that for my uh, machine, I, this works much better if I only allow for UEFI. So I, otherwise, I want to save all these changes, uh, which is uh, F10, or just enter, and we'll save it. And then we're gonna save it. Then we want to reboot with a, a Ventoy. I'm uh, F12, I'll keep pushing on it. So now um, it's a uh, Ventoy uh, USB stick is on a Samsung flash drive, which is already recognized at the first and I'll just enter. And then what we wanna do is get into, uh, it has uh, many, uh, ISOs including the windows that I used here to install windows originally but well for this uh, purposes we'll get into a FOSA pub ISO and then we'll just go into boot into normal enter and then load is fine and then uh, I can just use the RAM only so FOSA pub 9.5 dash RAM only and we'll enter that and then once uh, it settles in, I'm going to uh, insert the uh, a puppy uh, USB stick. So I'll do that 
while it's uh, going now. So. <clears throat> So I installed the uh, uh, puppy uh, uh, USB stick. So we'll see what it shows up as. We'll just close this ALTF4. We don't need to do, worry about all this. And then we can take a look at the uh, SDB A. SDA is internal hard drive, which already has a Windows in it. One is the USB stick. So there's a couple of th uh, things I need to do. What I prefer to do is because SD SDA it has, is a SSD that contains Windows in relatively much quicker than USB stick, I'm going to make a uh, X, uh, partition so the save file, save folder, for my Puppet Linux gets inserted into the US, uh, the uh, SSD. So to do that, we can get into Gparted. And then this is where the Windows is. This is the SSD 120 gig. And then this is the, um, what I need to do is put in a, uh, a save partition here for Puppy Linux to use. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, resize and then I'm going to make uh, about 20 gigs should be more than enough uh, uh, to get me a good size save folder. So we'll just go ahead and resize. And then next I will, on this uh, uh, save folder I want ext4 and then for labor this is very important uh as i use a capital sav just to uh, for my own uh, because i want i want to specify later the puppy should uh, look for save folder within this here so we're gonna make that partition and then we're gonna uh, apply the operation <clears throat> okay, and we'll close. And uh, so this is uh, SDA5 has been created with S capital SAB. We'll get into that. S so this is SDA5. What I want to do is I want to just uh, for organization purposes, I want to make a save folder uh, here. And then I'll do that with a uh, new uh, the window I should say and then uh, terminal command here and then we'll say make directory SABE so this is lowercase SABE so we'll go ahead and get out of that so eventually what we want to do is put the uh, uh, my own configuration save folder here what we want to do is go ahead and uh, uh, format the uh, puppy uh, USB stick. So we'll go ahead and uh, get into the G part of it again. This time we're going to go all the way down to USB stick, which is a Jet Flash 16 gig. We'll just go ahead and click that. We need to go ahead and uh, reformat it. So the first thing, uh, because I'll be using UEFI exclusively, what I want to do is create partition table within uh, within this. So right now it's recognized as being mounted. So what we can do is right click and then unmount the uh, USB stick. So we can go ahead and create a partition table. Rather than default MS-DOS, this uh, has to be in GPT for UEFI. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and apply. <clears throat> so it wipes out the whole USB disk. And then what we're going to do is put in a small uh, 200 megabyte for FAT32. So this is uh, where the grub's gonna go into. 
and uh, I'll just label it as EFI. Next is we want to go ahead and uh, uh, make a small partition to put in various uh, uh, pups, but in fact I'm just going to use uh, to install the CE4, so the 2 gig is going to be more than enough. So we'll just use a label of pups is fine, but CE4 is where it's going to go. And then uh, for, uh, since I'll be uh, using internal partition for save folder, what I can do is just go ahead and have a small, uh, small, uh, two gig, it, this has a uh, eight gig of RAM, so it really uh, doesn't need much of uh, uh, Linux swap, but we'll just go ahead and make a little Linux swap and then go ahead and end, add and then we'll just go ahead and apply to all these changes. <clears throat> and then we have to make sure we put a uh, boot flag on uh, first partition so it will, uh, it will go ahead and uh, boot into a puppet Linux. So. We'll just do that in a second. <clears throat> so, as I warned you, the USB stick is very slow in my case. And then now it's done and what we'll do is right click on the uh, first partition and we need to click uh, manage uh, manage uh, flags and then ESP should be clicked and it will also click the boot uh, partition which is what we want, that's done. So we'll go ahead and uh, stop it at this point. We'll go ahead and get out and then reboot. We do not need to save anything but the next uh, thing is we want to reboot but we want to reboot using the um, so we ma made a partition. I think that at this point, what we can do is go ahead and use the uh, setup utility of frugal pub. So let me see if I can access the uh, uh, ISO files here. Oh, it won't. It's okay. So because what I'll do is now I want I will reboot using the uh, Vento again and then see if uh, it uh, automatically loads up the external drive which you should have done but did, didn't. So we'll go ahead and reboot again.